it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm back with another haul video. Uh, this video is going to show you some things that I picked up at a family ran estate sale. And then I also went back to the uh, flea marketplace that I go to every now and again. It's basically a company that goes in, they clean out houses, and then the family pays them to clean the house out. Well, then they take those items and they sell them at this flea market. So they're sort of making money on both ends there. Sort of interesting. So I went back to that place and I really haven't been going to that place very often because the stuff that I like to buy uh, doesn't really, I let it build up. Let's, let's put it that way. So it builds up for me because not a lot of people are sourcing the same things I am. There are a few things that I miss out on by doing it that way. Things that are more uh, desirable around here locally, but some of these things that I like to buy for myself and online, they probably will still be there. So I've been going maybe about once, twice a month. Uh, but let me show you what I got. All right, so I've got an overflowing table. Once I get through this, I need to clear it off and put a few more things on there. But let's start right here. We have a box. It's a box full of flatware. Yes, I got this at the estate sale. The family ran estate sale. Those are the ones those are my favorite ones to go to because they generally don't know what they've got. This is a hundred pieces of flatware and the company is called Stylecraft. Really interesting. Um, this door, this uh, lid wants to keep falling because of the weight of these knives, but it just says stainless. Can we, can we focus? Um, well, it says stainless. Yeah, not one to focus. Stainless steel Japan. Anyway, I paid $5 for all of this, 100 pieces. That is outstanding, and it's all there. So it's serviced for 16, and uh, thought that was a spectacular buy. The box has seen better days. I don't know if I'm gonna include that in the listing or not. It really actually adds weight and, yeah, mostly weight. This here, interesting story. This was actually bought at the flea marketplace. So I'm gonna be going back and forth between the where I got things, but this was at the flea marketplace, and the interesting story about it was, I went to an estate sale, a, a um, professionally ran estate sale, a couple weeks ago. The same exact trash can was there, and it had $20 on it. So I was like, no, I'm not paying $20. That's basically what I would sell it for. So it's sort of this uh, 1970s Regency, Hollywood Regency, Hollywood Glam style, metal, exterior, plastic, interior so they had twenty dollars on it originally apparently it didn't sell and there was a couple other like uh pieces sort of like this a kleenex one and a napkin one and all that i left those i didn't want them but anyway i paid five dollars so i don't understand this i asked the people that was running the the sale the flea marketplace i said by ha by chance do you sell or do you buy things from this particular estate sale company and they were like oh yeah we do and I just found that so strange that, you know, she's trying to sell it for 20. This flea marketplace is able to buy it for under $5, meaning the state sale company probably charged them what, like two or $3 for this. I can't imagine anything lower. I just, I find that perplexing. And that stuff annoys me because I could have just bought it from the estate sale company originally, and they would have made the full $5, but whatever. Okay. Off the rant. Got a really cool tree, again, from the flea marketplace. Really interesting tree because of its coloring. I just think it's really cool. And the base, I really love the base. It sort of has like a um, kind of an art deco look to it. So thought that was cool. I clean this in the sink and all I smell is this pottery. I've been smelling it for like the last day and a half. It's like the smell of wet, um, wet pottery. I can't describe the smell, but it's it just keeps lingering. I think the inside might be a little wet still because it's unglazed. Um, anyways, it's kind of like a clay smell. So I put new bulbs in. There's nothing wrong with the old bulbs, but they have been glued in and the glue had yellowed. And so what was result, or what happened was there was lots of yellowing around the base of this and it made it look kind of dingy. Anyways, I paid $8. There is a broken side on it and that is right back here. Whoever glued this did a terrible job. I mean, so that's that's the glue job right there. I'm thinking about if I get bored one day, taking this apart, this this glue, um, if I soak it in a little water, which I did the first time and I noticed that there, this became malleable again. 
but if I soak it again, I could probably pull these pieces all apart and re-glue them um, to make them look nicer. But again, this is in the back. You're not really going to see it. So very cool pickup for $8. I'm going to keep this, by the way. So, so you know, I, uh, yeah, I think that was a really interesting looking one. But an iron, I, these things don't sell for me. It's not really special. It's General Electric. It was a dollar. It was a dollar at the, at the um, flea marketplace. So I went ahead and got it. The cord looks nice. Again, I don't know why I bought it, but there, there it is. She's ready to come in. I'm going to let her in because it, you know, it snowed outside yesterday. This is November still. Don't know when you're seeing this video, but November. And it snowed. She went out twice. I tried to get her to go to the bathroom. She uh, went out at 5 a.m. She went at 5 a.m. and I don't think she went, I don't think she did anything out there. And then again at like 7 a.m. or so, she went out there. I don't think she went out, I, she might be afraid. And I don't know why, she's almost five years old or similar to that. But anyways, I think she spent a lot longer out there. Maybe she for forced herself to um, shimmy on out and, and go to the bathroom. But um, yeah, okay, let's get back to this. I feel scattered all the time all day every day okay i paid three dollars for these here they are these handmade ornaments from the 60s 70s and i paid did i say three dollars i did i paid three dollars for them and they're from the flea marketplace i love these ornaments i might keep some of them i like this one i like this one i like definitely this one uh these green ones are kind of special too i don't necessarily like these gold ones let's just put it that way the rest are the rest are good so mostly for me, some to sell, if there's even a market out there. I, I, I don't know how many people actually like these. I do. I think they're really, really nice. This here, I took a chance on it. It was $2. It looks to be, to me, from about the 50s. Angel Chimes Musical Whirling Table Centerpiece. So I didn't know if it was all there. Obviously, the candles, when I opened the box, they're not in, they were not in there. But all this was in pieces. A complete pieces and I just had to keep you know trying to see if I could f make heads or tails out of this photo I don't think everything's here or it's, it's almost not here that I could not get this to set on top of this without wanting to fall down it, I don't know so I don't think it's all there I'm just gonna probably put it to the side but anyway thought it was pretty cool so there she is over here, I thought this was interesting. It's a really neat rock pin holder. There's a little bit of degradation on the metal here, but all in all, pretty nice for a pin holder. Really unique. Got to wash it up. It'll probably go on Etsy. Really, it's a really neat thing. You could put just any pin in there probably. So that's awesome. Got a little tiki cup, tiki man says Daga Hawaii. I didn't do any research on this yet, I'll be honest. I I just thought it looked cool from the way that it looked and there was no chips or anything. And uh, I like Hawaiian decor or this like kish Hawaii decor stuff. Uh, and plus when I looked at that, I thought Daga, that sounds familiar, but I don't know. I'll look it up. Thought it was kind of cool. So that'll probably go online as there's more buyers of this sort of thing uh, online. So also got this this was a dollar at the place that I can never remember the flea marketplace whoops <laughs> it's a wire hanging basket three bowl it'll go in the booth I've sold one of these before in the booth long long time ago uh, I'll probably put 10 10 or 12 dollars on it I paid a dollar like I said here's another pen set this time in like a, a marble I guess in a marble base, but uh, oh, and it comes with a pen. I don't think the pen works. I tried writing on my hand while I was there and it just wasn't doing anything. I'll uh, mess with it again, see if I can get it to work. If not, no big deal. I was a, it was a dollar, I think. No, it was two dollars, so. Park Sherman, pretty cool. Where are we at? So I also grabbed these two. They were a dollar a piece. I probably could have asked for them to be cheaper, but I didn't, so. Uh, Thought that was an interesting shape, and it is marked on the bottom here. Uh, well, Carolina, 
Enterprises, 1982. I liked that it was dated, so that's cool. And then this one here, I don't think it is. There's this writing here, and I don't. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what that says. Mm. <laughs> no. Well, anyways, there's that one. Thought that was pretty cool. I might hang on to both of them. I really strongly like this one more, though. But we'll see. Okay, I also grabbed this really interesting peacock gold, and it's made by Interpure Japan. So this would probably go on Etsy. Really cool vase. I, and I paid a dollar for it, so that's special. I don't know how much it's going to sell for. Uh, I would probably guess between $15 and $20, though. Back here, I got this really interesting poker set. It's not terribly old by any means. It's probably on the newer side, so I'm going to test it out in the booth. Actually, I recognize, yeah, that's Cardinal brand, so this is a newer type of a thing. It does swivel, comes with all these poker chips. I paid a dollar for it, so that's really cool. If I put it in the booth, I could probably sell it for, I don't know, $15, up, up to $15, I would imagine. So, neat. Here's a really, really cool thing I got for Etsy. It is actually a Polaroid One Step. If I can, oh, get it out of there. It's Polaroid One Step with the rainbow stripes. Really awesome Polaroid Land camera. I've sold one of these in the past. Actually, I wonder, I think the one I sold in the past did not have this top headpiece on it too. This seems to be added. So I wonder, I, the one I sold the first time around sold for about 30 or $40. So we'll see what this one does since it has the, the case and everything. And this paperwork. Be awesome if it would go for 50, 60 but we'll see. Here we have another poker set. This one again, this one is older and it, uh, yeah, it's just older, but uh, really neat. And it's funny because I paid, well, anyways, I paid $3, but what's funny about it is I bought another one of these at that same place like a month ago. And so the first set I believe is listed online right now. This set I might just try out in the booth. I don't, I'm not happy with the way it swivels. It's not as smooth as the as the first set, and it doesn't come with cards. I think I have some extra ones, but I was about to turn this over to look on the bottom. That would have been funny. So yeah, we'll find out how this does in the booth. I'd like to know how this kind of stuff does. I guess with winter coming up, this is a good activity for indoors. So anyways, I think I just got through everything on the table. I'm gonna clear this off a little bit, and then I'll show you some more things. All right, before I get going on these, I forgot to mention the price I paid on that Polaroid Land one-step camera. That was $3, and I bought that at the Family Ran Estate Sale. And then these items here, I also bought at that same sale. So, amazing set of apple green canisters from the 70s. They are Tupperware with these cool lids. I've sold these many times before, both online and in the booth. This is a pasta one, and then we've got the four-piece stacking canister set. They will sell for about $25 to $30 in the booth. Did I mention how much I paid? Oh, that's the best part. I paid $2. So I cannot believe the price on that. It's amazing price, $2 for these. That's just what you get whenever you go to these family ran sales. And it could really be any, uh, it could be high, it could be low, but on uh, most of the time for the stuff that I buy, it's cheap, so amazing deal, $2, turn it into 25 or 30, great. Also bought this fruit plasticware from 1976. I know that because the Roman numerals are written on the back, love when that happens. So we have a th th four piece set and I paid $2 for this, awesome. Uh, this is a little bit large, that's gonna be annoying to ship, but Oh, it's really cool. Someone's going to love that as a group. So I'll probably put, um, I don't know, 20, between, again, between 20 and $30 on it. Um, I need to do a little research on this. I don't normally buy this plastic stuff, but 
why not? It's really, really cute, and someone's going to love it with if they have, like, a fruit kitchen. It's, it's from the 70s, but it really kind of plays into the 50s a little bit. Uh, really awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the video here. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.